Today's episode should be pretty straightforward though before we get started. There's a Wobbuffet in Pokemon Go and I don't think I've ever caught a Wobbuffet so we better we better make sure this guy is all mine. We're not messing around with Wobbuffet. He's one of my favorite Pokemon I think just because he's so dumb. Wow, that fit. All right, I got him. So, anyways, about today's episode, here's what's going on. We traded in some trumpets on an episode a couple days ago to a local buy some trade store. It helps us buy some video games. And I asked you guys to comment below and tell us what would you want to do with it? Would you save it all up and buy something really big? Would you use it all to fill in some holes in your other collections? Maybe a bunch of $20 games. And, uh,. I'm pretty wishy-washy with this kind of thing, so I feel both ways. I'd love to go home with a $500 Game Boy game. That'd be dope, but I'd also kind of love to go home with 20 different inbox Super Nintendo games. That would be great for me. So I didn't really come to any kind of decision. We did an out-of-town trip, and I spent some of it. I spent about half of it, or a little more than half, uh, and we have $100 left of that store credit. So we're going to go to Bookman's, where I have the store credit today. We're going to go to both in town. We're going to try to finish up spending it. I don't know if I'll buy one big thing or several small things. I don't. I think I'm gonna end up buying a couple medium-sized things or something because here's how I really feel about the future of this channel. Uh, I really started it building a video game collection from thrift and I've got some great stuff that I'm proud to have in my collection that I'm proud to have thrifted for not a lot of money. But I'm getting to the point where all that regular thrifted stuff is out of the way and it's on my shelves at home. So I think to continue my collection, I think there will be a lot more trading in in the future. But I'm almost going to, in some ways, though, we're not going to stop thrifting. I'm going to replace that video game content we made at the thrift store with a pretty regular supply of me buying 20 30 40 $50 games that I want and I want to play uh, from this kind of game store. So I'm hoping to leave today with, you know, some cool PlayStation 2 games or something. But I don't know. I might get in there and get nervous like I did in the previous episodes and just not buy anything. Because I've done that a couple times now. I go and say, I'm spending store credit today, and I'm just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. But let's go figure it out. I'm seeing some PlayStation games that I really like the look of Mega Man X5 and Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger. That Typhoon game looks so good. Hmm. This is Big Box PlayStation 2. Oh, man. Stressful. See, I'm getting stressed. Video game hunting should be stressful, should it? There's just so much good stuff in here. I like to grab a couple of PlayStation 1 games. Mm. You know, you guys don't really take them unless they're near perfect. Sometimes you get messed up ones. Yeah, it happens. Now they look great. I will take both of those. Awesome. And uh, I'd like to know how much that one is. 25 Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, they'll be up front for you. Thank you. So most places that do these grab bags, they probably keep the best stuff and you know sell it that way and then put the leftover stuff in grab bags. But this Bookman's doesn't uh, have a Pokemon binder for you to look at the good stuff in. So either they, maybe they, you can get lucky and get some of the good stuff this way or they send it to the other store in town that they do sell the good stuff. That's probably what they do. Either way, I'm not really terribly interested in that. Other than this is a great way to fill in stuff from your older collections. I don't mind doing it for that reason, but this, I want. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the $5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, it'd be 25 for all of these. That'd really completely jumpstart my Dragon Ball Z collection, but we're not gonna do that with store credit. There's a whole bin here full of McDonald's toys for a dollar, and I kinda, uh, I mean, what caught my eye was the Beanie Baby stuff. I'm not looking to buy more of that, but you know, who knows what else is in here. If I could find some of those Furbies in here, I'd probably, I'd probably spring for the Furbies. Pocahontas stuff. So there's actually some My Little Pony comics in here. It's kind of funny. I've never read any of them. Would I read some of them? Sure. It's also a Littlest Pet Shop one, which is funny too. I've never seen that or knew that that existed. We're on a bit of a fact-finding mission today, just seeing how much bookstore sells Animorph and or Goosebumps for because we've uh, 250 a piece. We've been acquiring a bunch of them. And it looks like all the Animorphs are going to be 250 Check it. <laughs> it's an anteater. Uh, yeah, let's just double check. Two bucks. So it's actually different. Two, 250. 
see how much one of these different cover ones. Three more for those, really. I think maybe people do think those are cool. I don't really care for them, but. Two fifty roundabout. Now, where are the goosebumps? I thought they'd be here because these are Apple books. Oh, here they are. Found them. All right, let's check them. Same kind of thing. What's the general price for them? Two bucks. I'm pretty sure that's a near original. Two bucks. Two bucks. Here are some definitely modern reprints. Three fifty. So. The newer ones are selling for a bit more at the bookstore. Yeah, I'm not looking to buy any of these right now. It's just really a fact-finding mission. We have $48.50 left on our trade-in credit receipt, so hopefully we can spend that at the other bookmans, which we are going to go to today. But I want to have a little chat before we move on because I've been thinking a whole bunch about video games on this channel because we started as a video game hunting collecting channel for sure, and I am in no way wanting to slow up or change the fact that we hunt for video games on this channel. But like I said at the beginning of the video, we've run out of the ease of buying a bunch of games. And uh, I still, every now and then, buy a pretty quality game at the, at, the, at the Goodwills when I get lucky. But it doesn't feel like it's anywhere near as frequent as it used to be. So here's what I think we might do in the future for this channel. I'm not gonna ever stop buying the cheap games at the thrift store. Believe me, if I don't have it, it's a thrift store for cheap. I'm gonna buy it, period, the end. But I was thinking, I was thinking about doing something cool and you know, there's a new year coming up, right? We're not that far from 2021. And I thought, why don't I pick a console for 2021 and just do trading credit and spend that little bit of extra money that I'm gonna spend on video games just on one system, right? And then see where we're at at the end of the year and see if maybe, if, let's just say I pick PlayStation 1. Because to be honest with you right now, I think PlayStation 1 would be the system I have the most nice games for. I have multiple $100 plus games. I have a ton of $20, $30 games for PlayStation 1. So maybe it'd be a good one. And maybe we just trade in instruments that we thrift and we trade in the stuff that we thrift all through 2021. And we just try to, by the last day of December next year, try to have some huge portion of the PlayStation 1 collection. I don't have any delusion that I'm going to finish it seriously but i do think we could we could knock a huge portion of it out and then maybe at the end of that year we could tally the votes again and see what system we go after next and maybe it could be playstation 2 maybe it could be whatever maybe we could that year take a vote on it but i want you to comment below and let me know what you think if i was going to do that next year i was going to make a huge effort to go after a system what system do you think it should be and why and i want to know the why because i don't want to j just go after playstation for because you want to maybe some of you watching really know our collection well and you've been watching a while and you've seen our collection in the background of our videos and maybe maybe you've got some good reason against why we should pick a certain a certain console and goal because i plan on making these videos forever to come i don't i don't really right now my future plans for what we're doing are to continue to do this so i kind of want to go about it different next year you know because these last this last year we've made these videos it was just come what may we show up at the thrift store, if there's a game there, I buy it, nothing else. But I know for a fact we're going to find a trumpet, a clarinet, something that we know we can trade in at this store like we did to get the store credit we spent today. I know we're going to do that a hundred times over this next year. So why not just make a concentrated effort to always come right back here once a week on a video, three times a week on videos, and just try to big rig, big loud rig, let's go. Um, Let's do that next year. You think, Hannah, you think we should make a concerted effort to just like collect the heck out of PlayStation 1 games? Sure, sounds right. like a plan. Well, let's get a raw answer from you without thinking about it too much. If you had to pick a console to just go hard on next year, what would it be? I would say PS2 because that's my favorite console, but that's very overwhelming. Yes. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of games there. Well, you guys comment below and let us know what you think about doing that on the channel, but I'd also like to know if any of you have plans for the new year to go hard after a different system does anybody think that way i'd be interested to know because i don't really do new year's resolutions but maybe that could be one for me this next year to just put more effort into one console i like the way that sounds all right what we're gonna do now now that the talky talk is out of the way uh, we're gonna go to the toy store that we've been frequenting on this channel called collector's marketplace we're gonna go there because i'm just trying to make a conscious effort to stop in there once a week and make sure I eyeball the stock of stuff they have that I do collect. 
just make sure they're not bringing anything I gotta leave with, but also I need some supplies from there. I need some trading card stuff. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go to the other Bookmans, and we're gonna spend the rest of that yellow receipt money. So stick around, it's gonna be fun. This game store we've been going to about once a week for a while. I plan on going here a bunch on the channel. Not really for the sake of the channel, just they have such specific things that I wanna be here to see just like a buy sell trade store that's what this is but for toys i want to be here to make sure that there's none of the power ranger stuff i need none of the Beyblade stuff i need just anything we're looking for i want to check once a week and make sure they they don't have anything new so just check how awesome this store is if you haven't seen it yet here's what i gotta come here for weekly the power ranger stuff just gotta keep making sure nice and then this Black Ranger wasn't here last time we were in box 25. I know I just gave you guys that whole speech about trading credit and stuff, but I think maybe what we should do is actually get just enough trading credit to get this $100 Super Mario World watch. And then we can go back to the original plan because I want that bad, but I will not pay 100 bucks for it. It's just, I'm not into that, but I want that on the Mario shelf bad. What do you think? As long as you leave it on the shelf because it won't fit on your wrist. Well, that's true, but... <laughs> What? I'm on a bit of a fact-finding mission trying to figure out how many Power Ranger Pops there are. And there's just a ton. Mask, no mask, movie version, regular versions, metal versions, oh, and on and on and on. There's just so many. That's beautiful. We have Crumb too, but not Oblina. Oh, really? She's my favorite. So that was only really a supply run. I got, this isn't even Pokemon cards. This is just storage boxes. And then I got, I got a bunch of the sleeves and the, the pages, the card pages for some other stuff I need to get done. Just supplies, nothing special. But like I said, we are gonna go here weekly. So be sure to comment below if there's any section in there you'd like to see closer up and I'll get you a good look at it next time we're here. I'm very excited to go spend the rest of this trading credit. And honestly, just to kind of keep things all together today, I'm kind of hoping there are some more 20-ish, 25-ish dollar PlayStation 1 games so we can just go home with four bangers today but we'll see and then when we're done there is a good will next door hannah spotted a comic shop just down there we've never been to so maybe we'll just go look at that too before we quit today aliens resurrection for 30 ape escape for 40 parasite eve for 60 creatures does that say creatures nightmare creatures too or is that just a symbol either way it's 30. you see anything Something called Cat Quest. There's Armored Core in there, but I can't see how much it is. Where'd you see Cat Quest? It's up here. <laughs> I am checking the toy section just to make sure there's nothing that I have to have. I can't live without, and you know, just trading card game stuff. Just trying to absorb what trading card game stuff might be here. But uh, I think I'm going to just not mess around. I'm just going to get two of those PlayStation 1 games, and we're going to just maybe move towards being heavy hardcore playstation one collectors what do you think maybe i don't know i'm still not decided on that but right now i just want some playstation one games why not there's only one ps1 game in the lockbox i'm super interested with we're going to get that 18 dollars left over do i keep it a perfect playstation one day and get a couple cheaper of those or do i get tales of symphonia <laughs> which is more than the 18 but i can spare a few bucks <laughs> I don't know, there's a couple Bratz games here. Are there? Yeah, there's like, oh, that's Spice. That is not Bratz, but there is, there is one. Here we go. Oh, wow. You like? You I trying actually, to play it with me? I actually think we have it, so. Oh, really? Yeah. And then oof, the Animorphs game. It's pretty dope looking. I don't know, what do we do? Tales of Symphonia. What does your heart say? I don't know. I think I wish I'd bought another PlayStation 1 game at the other place, but oh. I definitely want this. All right, well, we finally did it. We spent all of our store credit. I bought a GameCube game and a PlayStation 1 game. We'll talk about all the games that we bought today at the end of the video, so definitely stick around for that. Now, let me go lock this up in my van. We'll go next door to Goodwill, see if they've got anything. Didn't plan on doing any thrifting today, but I always forget that Goodwill is literally the next door over from Bookman, so let's go. There are a bunch of games here. But are they gonna be here? Holy crap. So hold up, there's a lot to talk about. That says 20 bucks. First of all, what? Uh, second of all, Harry Potter DVD. <laughs> I will right, just put that back with the Wii Fit. Okay. 
what is happening? That's not right. That's not what that is. Okay. Now there's something I don't have. Five bucks. And it, this is not going well. I've never seen this game. Surf and skate. Road trip. 429. We'll hold on to that. I did not know there was a Spongebob game out there that I didn't have and didn't know what it was. So that's cool. I'm not sure where this is from, but I have definitely seen it before. But it's, oh, it's World Market. Lol. It's so cute. I love it. Um, that wouldn't really stack well in the cabinet though, must say. It's not a very practical bowl. These are pretty. Little candle votives. Aww. That's really cute. I wish it's uh, partner was here. I can't get anything right today at the Goodwill. I'm just, I'm not doing well. Very excited about that, but inside is actually a copy of Nick Toon's MLB. So, that's not what that is. It's probably not getting any video games here. Here's something I've never seen before. This is the Colonial Mist pattern on a glass. It's really pretty. There's a couple more back there. Not enough for a full set, but um, just one more, I think. Yeah, just one more back here. I like that pattern a lot. It's typically in a blue and white on Pyrex bowls, and that's, it's a really pretty bowl. To be completely honest, I always feel like that Goodwill's not really worth going to. There's Goodwills that we actively go to because we like them, and we put them in our GPS and we go. And then there's Goodwills that we go to because they're next to things, and there's no reason not to go when you're at least already there. And that's one of those. Uh, I can't even really think of anything crazy I've ever got there. You know? I found some good overalls, but that's about it. You know what? We did find a couple expensive pops once, so yeah. there's that. But there is a comic book store right next door to here, so let's go check it out. I bet you there's some dope toys in here. Check it. In fact, there's some dope toys and figures in the window. You like? Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. Where does Ringo? Rip. Hello. Hello. Ooh. The music is very loud back here, but this is awesome. Lots of singles. Good prices. That was a cool store. We will be going back, but I just wanted to point out the sign out in front of it. It just says comics. Great. Don't don't complicate it. Okay, we don't have as much to talk about in this wrap up as we normally do because we only hit one thrift store and there was not a thing there. So um Bummer there, but I did come home with some video games. I definitely want to talk about those because I'm excited about some of it. But we have a package today. And normally when we pick up packages, we say at the beginning of the video, hey, look, we picked this up. Uh, but this one arrived to us rather strangely today. It was actually at our house rather than our P.O. box, which is where you guys, whenever you do send us packages, the address you have access to is our mail, is our post office. And we go pick them up there. Something weird happened at the post office where they decided to forward us this. And I don't know why. And I've actually, I've had this happen before, but it was when I ordered something off eBay and I had it sent to my P.O. box. The post office was like, no, nah, we'll go ahead and bring it to you. Yeah, it was strange. <laughs> Very strange. So I got, we got a surprise present from one of you guys and it's from Vinyl Rhino Graphics. Sounds right. cool. I like the sound of that. So we'll open that up in just a second. Uh, but we're really surprised about it. We just walked in the door and it was sitting in front of the house. We we're like, we didn't order it. We haven't ordered anything off Amazon this week. Yeah, that, that mental Olympics you yeah. go through when you're like, there's a package. Did, did your mom, <laughs> I said, did your mom send us something? She's like, no. And, and then we looked at it close and it had a sticker for our, our P.O. box on it. So our post office, I guess, was like, we'll help you out today. I don't know. I don't know why they did it. But let's talk about what we got today. I've been buying up these Pokemon boxes because on our other channel, uh, a lot of the Pokemon content we make for our second channel is surrounding Pokemon. And so these sleeves right here, I can't get enough of them. I like keeping the corresponding sets of Pokemon cards in the sleeves that came in the Elite Trainer box. So I need like 400 of these. <laughs> so I have to buy a bunch. So I go, I keep going back to that store again and again just to get more of this stuff. So that's just pure usefulness. I bought 40 <laughs> nine cards uh, inserts. Nine card card holders. I don't know what you're supposed to call them, but I bought <laughs> I bought 40 of them. And uh, I need hundreds more, so I will be buying bulk orders. 
uh, I, you know, you're overpaying. If you need as many of them as I do, you're overpaying if you pay for them individually like I did today. But I'm shooting a video tomorrow for our second channel that will go live the next day, and I needed some of these. So uh, these are very nice. But I just, I need about a thousand more. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I picked up one sealed copy or one sealed pack of uh, X-Men Oasis Fleer trading cards. Just because it was there and it was sealed and it's the only Marvel one they had whatsoever. It was two bucks. I just picked it up. I'll probably leave it sealed and leave it in my trading card box. That baby is weathered. It's very weathered. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but it's scratchy. It's, it's very... like folded in the exact shape of the cards very rigidly. <laughs> it is, but I'm happy to have it. So let's talk about these video games before we jump into this package. Um, I have... Played Mega Man X5 a bit at one time or another, so I, I am vaguely familiar with that. But the rest of these games, I know about Tales of Symphonia. Obviously, it's a popular enough series slash game. So uh, let me know, though, in the comments below if any of this you think might strike my fancy and I should play it. Taifu, I mean, it looks ridiculous. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Uh, looks pretty nor normal Mortal Kombat fighting yeah. game. Uh, but... Point Blank 2. I have not played Point Blank 1. Do I need to? I don't want to because I want to go play this right now. Does that not look like the most ridiculous game we have? Yeah, it looks real silly. All of a sudden. <laughs> but I started grabbing this stuff because I want to spend more time playing the PlayStation 1 and just having vague, familiar, or less vague familiarities with some of these games and some of these series because uh, it is one of my favorite consoles. But uh, game wise, I'm happy to put that on my GameCube shelf because um, this was in such perfect condition double disc uh, but I'm most excited about this point blank too because it looks so dumb and great <laughs> I'm very very excited about it so you guys comment below let me know if any of those games are in, on your favorites list and you think we should play them I have no idea what this is I, I want it like my brain is assigning it some extra importance because it showed up on our door Well, it was almost a bad start. I almost chopped that right yeah, in half. That was bad. <laughs> the scissors are dangerous. Here you go. Look at these dad bod Red Rangers. Hold up. Oh my goodness. All right. So. I'm glad you wrapped it. This is a shock. There's a lot of stuff on here. There's our P.O. box. There's Ash. Um, cover up his address. This side, what does it say? Vinyl Rhino graphics for all your merch needs, custom embroidered t-shirts, coffee mugs. This, I, I did not ask for this. I, I haven't contacted anybody for our merch stuff, but it looks like this guy might uh, might be wanting to partner up a little bit. Um, there's, <laughs> there's more Power Rangers on the other side. Did you side. see the Tendo Goodwill? Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe he was sending us merch samples or something, because I think that's the kind of graphic company he might be. I might have to holler at him anyways because... What? Well... Let me, hold on, let me walk around and show the camera. This is not what I thought it was, bro. I thought you were going to be like, here, look how nice the hoodies are. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> what? And there's so many on the top, I can see just by looking in that I... Are you kidding me? This is crazy. Are you excited? It's like, it's so specifically like too much. It's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's overload. Okay, let's just run through the VHS. <sighs> I'm not very good at keeping track of how complete my collections of things are. Yeah. I, I do I do good sometimes and I catalog something and then I bring home 20 and don't put them on the list. So I have to go back and double check the list and stuff. So like, I'm not, I might be halfway through the v, Dragon Ball Z VHS collection. Like, I'm into it. I have a lot. So it is very surprising even at the thrift store when I find a few that I don't have. And now we're on to two I don't have. And even if I have some of these, like this one I do have, this Android's one, way better condition than mine. Yeah. They might come from the thrift store, so I'll just upgrade some of mine. Oh my god. There's so many. This is, you know what, too? I'll be completely honest with you. I have my Dragon Ball Z VHS uh, collection. I've got a shelf, one of these yellow shelves with doors on the bottom half, and I've got it tucked away in there because I just I had it displayed up top here, but I've been trying to make that look neater. So I say that to say my Dragon Ball Z collection is not displayed currently, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to change that because 
I had like the cool thing if you don't know, I'll show you two Dragon Ball Z tapes. You combine them. Uh, that's like we, we lost half of Trunks' face, but you put them all in a row and they make a giant mural, and that's really cool. And that really scratches my collector's <laughs> itch, right? But the problem with that, if you do put them on display this way, of course, it covers up what episode it is and stuff. Mm, that is a shame. But I mean, let's be honest. Well, let's let me get the, let me skip ahead real quick. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter because I've got them on DVD. So why, why just put them on display and watch these? This is season two, three, four. Ah, where's one? Well, don't get greedy now. I think this is one without its sleeve, maybe. No, this is season six. That's okay. Oh. We still. What's funny? Is that one? No, this is a five pack of movies. I've never even seen that. That's cool. Ah. We have. We don't have one yet. Um. Is, are you serious right now? Dragon Ball GT? GT, the complete series. That was easy. Well, <laughs> there's, you can watch that there's one. Not six, there's not six series there. Um, movie four pack, movie four pack. These are different packs. There's so many Dragon Ball Z movies, if you didn't know. Here's a little education in Dragon Ball Z for you. I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z. Okay, hold up. Okay, we got... I'll, I'll come to that later. I'm not even finished with the Dragon Ball stuff. Um... Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods. We all of a sudden quadrupled our Dragon Ball Z movie cut. Here's an uncut. Just a bunch of Goku fights compiled on a DVD. Love. That's funny. Power Rangers songs for the TV series. Dope. It's probably six hours of screaming on this. Um, there is a note at the bottom, too. We'll read that last. Well, uh, it was on top, but we opened it from the bottom. I guess we opened it upside down. That's fine. <laughs> we, we, do, we do notes last here. Um, and then just... Here, let me just show you this side so you can see the murals. Like, this is going to make no sense out of order. But again, there's just a whole bunch of murals. And you put them in order. I'm so pumped. All right, so, you know what? Tomorrow, I don't know if I'll do it on video or not, but tomorrow, I'm going to get this stuff organized. Um, now, let me show you the next thing. Okay. Aww. Do you see what it says? No. You didn't see it. Do you see? Well said. That's the best thing I've ever That's seen. That's so cute. Good kill. Now. Dude! I don't say dude much, but that applies. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Bro. Bro. <laughs> he put me with the Power Rangers. Well, now we have to remember to use these bags every time we go Goodwilling. <laughs> we definitely do. That's exactly right. You need to put these right now. Put them in our Ikea bag of bags we take with us. The bag for the holding of bags. Um, well, guys, if you want your... Uh, if <laughs> This is crazy. If you want your face put amongst the Power Rangers, go check this guy out. Look him up on Facebook. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give him a call. Hello, my name is Joseph, and I love your show, and it keeps me, it keeps inspiring me to do more collecting and being smart about it. Uh, oh, I just can't even read. I'm so like, <laughs> I like that's gonna be the coolest thing about Power Rangers uh, collection. Like, I'm gonna, I, we're probably not. Well, now we gotta use it. Yeah. I want to, I want to put it on display, but like, I need to, I need to be like carrying that around. You know what I mean? <laughs> Grab that. Our card protectors fell off. Whoops. They made um, a very loud swap. <laughs> well, it's very heavy when you get 50 of them all together. Um, okay. Let me dry my eyes. I can't see through <laughs> my tears. Uh, it keeps inspiring me to do more collecting and being smart about the perpetualness of it to where what you buy pays for itself. Very smart. I have bipolar and PTSD, and I find that your show or YouTube channel is very soothing and very educational. Uh, for the both of you. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that. Um, the thing I think about our show that has given us the most success is the consistency of it. And I don't just mean that consistency of quality, but like we post every day, same time. And if if you're someone like yourself that needs something reliable or need you know needs reliable things, you know our show can definitely be that. At least up to this point, we've been able to keep the same quality, the same kind of content, and keep it coming. So I, I just, I want to say that, say I, I thank you for saying that because 
that was definitely on purpose. And to have you, you say that definitely gratifies the choices we've made. So thank you very much for saying that. I really enjoy learning about stuff and I have quite the collection myself. I'm sending you custom thrifty bags that I have designed for, that I have designed for the both of you. That means you gotta carry around the good kill bag. It's so funny. We need to take it into Goodwills with us and see how long it takes for someone to notice. Um, and I am sending you these Dragon Ball Z DVDs and VHS. Sell them or keep them. They are yours. I got them with a large lot of video games. That's really cool. Oh, but, um, I only see like two tapes that I already have. And we're definitely keeping the VA, or the DVDs because we're trying so hard to watch, to go back and forth watching the stuff from each of our childhoods that the other hasn't watched. Like, I've been watching Spongebob with her. She's going to watch Dragon Ball Z with me. And I have such a random, uh, random bits of the Dragon Ball VHS that we can't watch on VHS because we leave out so many episodes. So these DVDs are going to be awesome. Um... I don't watch such things. There's no reason. I, I do not put this on the recommend list. It's too specific. Um, sorry about the no punctuation. I'm not good at it. Quite fine. We also here at Vinyl Rhino Graphics would like to extend our hand to custom make your merch. I don't know how much you pay now, but we charge 14 a pop, either vinyl, embroider, or sublimation, which is the process I use to make your bags. Uh, you can always count on us. We have a high turnover rate for product, whether it be stickers car vinyl or windows, coffee mugs, etc. We can do it cheaper than anyone out there, etc. So keep us in mind. We also want to just say thank you for the great content. Keep up the good work. Yours truly, Joseph. Yes, so uh, I'll have to reach out to you. We'll have to talk about it. Actually, currently right now, we make it ourselves. So I can't imagine we're not going to get to a point soon where we definitely should outsource it. So we're ready to watch some Dragon Ball Z. I can't believe it. Four or five, cause this is six. I have seven or five. I have a couple, and I don't know which ones I have. Matter of fact, just hang tight since we're here talking about it. My collection is literally just on the other side of the TV. Okay. Actually, hold on. I have this Wait. box. Somebody, one of you guys sent us this. Wait. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to go in there. Hmm. But it can. <laughs> it's a Dragon Ball GT box for something. You don't think... Surely it's not supposed to be that way. Right? Surely that's not what it can. We'll have right. to Google it. I, uh, it's, I was thinking maybe this and those other movie bits could slide in there, but it's not enough room. I'm just making sure, okay? I've got so much Dragon Ball Z stuff, it's crazy. But yeah. Um, where's the ones I just brought over here? So we had... Five and four. So, so you we, sent us four. Yeah, so I've got a double of four. I'll probably just check and put all the best discs of each one in there. Yeah. And then so we have five. So that, that gets us way further than we were. Yay! Thank you so much for sending that. And the rest of you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Check out our merch store, tindostrash.com, where we have some cool hashtag trash life shirts that uh, we're, we're, we're selling and using to promote the, our hope that you will post your social media posts with your thrift finds, anything you find that's like what you see on this channel on social media with the hashtag trash life. You're not going to find any merch on there that's as cool as my face amongst the Power Rangers. Sorry, but uh, we've got some cool merch over there. Go check it out. Tindostrash.com will get you there. There's a link below this video for it. Also, before we go, check out our public Discord it's somewhere you can come and chat with us. If you ever wanted to reach out to us, talk to us, or hang out with some of the other people you see frequenting our channel, and or commenting below, etc. You can come over there. We're chatting all day long. It's really a busy place almost all day long these days, and uh, I'm pretty proud of that. It's pretty cool. Anything else before we go? Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, pretty please. <laughs> I think we just hit like 6,500. We're on our way to 7,000. Trying really hard. It would be very nice to get to 10,000 before the year's over, and I think it's doable. But we're only going to do that if you guys watching who haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button. Share it with your friends. <laughs> Share everybody. us on Facebook. <laughs> Share us on Facebook. Share us on email. You know what? I'm not kidding you. We get notification. We get analytics on our YouTube page of where our videos have been shared, essentially. And sometimes there's a suspiciously high number of shares on Gmail. So if you're Thanks. out there emailing <laughs> our links to people, keep on doing it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We do post daily videos on this channel, so come back tomorrow. Also, uh... 
I don't know if it'll be the day this video is posted or the next, but our second channel is going to have a really cool new video about organizing comic books and organizing trading cards. It's going to be a really like almost philosophical and beautifully pretty shot video. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I've been having fun making it. So if you'd like to see us do something a little more artsy, come check out that second channel we have. <sighs> Just hang out with us some more. Why not? Why not? You already watched seven videos a week. What's, what's two more? What's two more videos? Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And until then... Peace out.